in today's class we are going to solve board exam model question paper of class 8 mathematics for english medium this is the part 1 in part 1 we solve question number 1 to 20 let's go to first question four alternatives are given for each of the following question in complete statements choose the correct alternative and write the complete answer along with the correct option for question number 1 to 20 first question is cube root of 125 is cube root of 125 is 5 the correct answer is option a 5 next is Question number two: A is non-zero integer. M and n are the natural numbers, and m is greater than n. Then, a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to. This is the direct question of law of exponents. So the answer is a a raised to m minus n. Question number three: The digit in unit place of cube of Twenty-seven is so cube of twenty-seven is here in unit place three. Right option is option D three. Next is the shape of solid in the given figure is this shape is cone. So option is C cone. A question number five: the formula to find curved surface area of cylinder. This is also direct question. You have to write the Curved surface area formula. So the right answer is a two pi r h is the curved surface area of cylinder. So option a two pi r h square units. The least number to be multiplied to two hundred and forty three to make it a perfect cube is two forty three. We divide it with three. Three is a twenty-four. Three ones are three. Next, three two is a six. Carry to three seven is a twenty-one. Three nine is a twenty-seven. Three three is a nine. Three ones are three. See here. One set of three three is completed here. For cube root, and here only two is there. One more three we have to add here for make it perfect square. So answer is D three. Question number seven: If the length, breadth, and height of a cubic room are twelve, eight, and four meter respectively, then the area of its four wall is length is. Twelve meter, breadth is eight meter, and height is four meter. We have to find cubic surface area. Cubic lateral surface area is equal to two h l plus b. This is the formula for lateral surface area. Here is four wall is given, so we have to take The formula of lateral surface area here to as it is and the height is four and length is twelve and breadth is eight four two is eight twelve plus eight is twenty eight into two is sixteen and zero as it is it is one sixty meter square the right answer is option C one sixty Square meter. Question number eight. The perfect cube seven twenty nine lies between the cubes of these numbers. Seven twenty nine is the cube of nine, and it is lies between eight cube and ten cube. So answer is option B. That is eight and ten. Next is. Question number nine: The central angle of this sector represent one third region in a pie chart is one third region. So it is one by three. 
पाई चार्ट इज टोटल थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज हियर वी डिवाइड इट थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री टू जा सिक्स एंड जीरो रिमेन्स एज इट इज इट इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री सो द राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री हियर वी राइट सी वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन डायमीटर डी ऑफ सिलेंडर इज इक्वल टू हाइट हेच ऑफ सिलेंडर देन इट इज टोटल सरफेस एरिया इज इन स्क्वायर यूनिट्स डायमीटर ऑफ सर्कल इक्वल टू हाइट देन हाइट डी इज इक्वल टू टू आर देन हेच ऑल्सो इज इक्वल टू टू आर द टोटल सरफेस एरिया ऑफ सिलेंडर इज टू पाई आर R plus H. Here we put two pi R as it is. Here we write R and we replace H with two R. Two pi R, two R plus one R, it is three R. We multiply three to the six pi R into R R square. So the right answer is option B. Six pi r square. The eleventh question is four raised to three can be expressed with the base two as four raised to three. Four can be written as two raised to two, and we kept three here. So three to the six. It is two raised to. Six. The option is option D. Two raised to six. Question number twelve. If sum of four raised to three plus four raised to four plus four raised to five is divided by seven, then the quotient will be here. Four raised to three is. Uh, we have to multiply four with three times. That is four into four into four. That is sixty-four. Likewise, four raised to four is two fifty-six. And four raised to five is one thousand twenty-four. If we add these three, it is one thousand three hundred and forty-four. We have to divide with seven. Seven ones are seven. Seven ones are seven. Six remains. Seven nines are sixty-three, and one remains. Seven twos are fourteen. It is one ninety-two. So the correct option is option C, one ninety two. Question number thirteen: Height and radius of a cylindrical shaped water storage tank are three meter and seven meter respectively. The cost of painting its curved surface at the rate of five rupees per square meter is. First, we find the cylinder. Curved surface area. The formula for this is two pi r h. And height is given three meter, and the radius is given seven meter. We kept two as it is, and it is pi. Pi is twenty two by seven, and r is seven, and h is three. Seven seven get cancel. Here is Twenty two plus two, that is forty four into three. Forty four into three is one thirty two. The cost of painting its curved surface area at the rate of five rupees per one thirty two square meter. So we multiply with five. Five two is a ten, carry one. Five three is a fifteen plus one, sixteen, carry one. Five one is a five plus one. That is six. The correct option is six sixty rupees. The option B. So here we write B six sixty rupees. Next is question number fourteen. The general form of this one is. So see here here thousand into one. We write one. After thousand it is hundred. It is four. Next should be ten. Ten is not there here. It is direct unit place is there. 
we write here 0 for tens next is unit place is 2 and see here it is 3 by 100 we put point before 3 by 100 it should be 1 by 10 here we put 1 0 for that next is 3 next is 2 the option correct option is option D question number 15 3 cubes each of edges 4 cm are placed one adjacent to the other to form a cuboid then the length breadth and the height of resulting cuboid respectively are here we place 3 cubes each side is 4 cm so it is 4 it is 4 and it is 4 and this one also 4 and this one also 4 then the first we have to write length length is this one is length 4 plus 4 4 plus 4 that is 12 then the length is 12 and next is breadth breadth here breadth is 4 and the height height this one is the height the height is 4 the answer is option b 12 4 4 question number 16 the graph that represent the relation between whole of a circle and its part is option D pie chart next multiplicative inverse of 10 raised to minus 5 is the multiplicative of inverse a is 1 by a so it is 1 10 raised to minus 5 the inverse of this is 1 by 10 raised to minus 5 this is not the option if we take minus 5 as plus then it is become 10 raised to plus 5 the option is option D question number 18 expand form of 2x plus 3y whole square we expand with the formula a plus b whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square here a is 2x and b is 3y a square is 2x square plus 2 as it is a is 2x and b is 3y plus b square is 3y square it is 4x square plus 2 to the 4 4 3 is a 12xy plus 3 square is 9 and y square the option correct option is option b the value of this here raised to 0 a, the value of a raised to 0 is 1 so this bracket raised to 0 is also be 1 the correct option is option B 1 next the monthly salary of a person is 50,000 the amount spent on various activity is shown in the pie chart the amount saved by the person is saving six percent six percent of fifty thousand six percent is six by hundred into fifty thousand these two zeros and these two zeros get cancelled 6 into 500 is 6 is a 30 and 2 0 remains as it is that is 3000 then option is option a 3000 this is the multiple choice questions from 1 to 20 in next class we will solve the other question of this question paper so don't forget to like subscribe share our channel thanks for watching